Alright guys, so you may have noticed that uh, I changed my channel name to Fishing For Real just because um, I was trying to find, I've been trying to find a good name for a long time. Uh, I do all kinds of fishing, so uh, a Pacific name like Bass Master 224, Bass Fishing, stuff like that. It wasn't really, it wouldn't work because I do multi-species fishing. So Fishing For Real, I thought that was kind of a cool name and uh, there was nobody else uh, no other channels that really have that name. So like there's so many YouTubers um, that it's really hard to find a good name that like nobody else has. So I thought this was kind of a cool name and there wasn't really anybody else that had uh, this name. So uh, that's the whole name thing. So uh, I'm going to show you guys my 2018 uh, bass rod and reels. And so let's get into it. Yeah. So I'll take you off my tripod, and now if you look, I have I have tons of fishing rods, and uh, got a rack full of them there. Got some up in there. Got this rack here, which actually these two are Isaac's rods, but my primary bass rods are these three bait casters here, and so that's what I'm going to kind of show you today. And so when I'm out there, you know, in the boat fishing for bass, these are the three rods that I am going to be fishing. Now Isaac has his rods and my dad has a rod and stuff like that, but uh, these are the rods I'll be fishing. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Lunkers TV Special Edition rod. Uh, they're available in Tackle Warehouse. All, these rods, I'll put the link to the description for these rods. Um, but this is available at Tackle, Tackle Warehouse. Um, they may not be in stock right now, but you can get them. They're on there. So um, this particular model is a 7 foot 3, extra heavy. And uh, it's got, it's a, pretty, it's a pretty stiff rod. I got this rod when I first got it. I was looking for a frog rod. And I had just gotten my other rod, which I'm going to show you. But I was looking for a good frog rod. And, you know, I saw this. And so I was like, oh yeah, you know, this should work good. And I got it, and it does. I caught my PB on it, on a frog, uh, three and a half pounds. I know it's not a huge PB, but it's a, you know, it's a quality fish. And uh, looking to definitely upgrade um, as I move on this year. But uh, this is, you know, it's a pretty nice rod. It's got, I like the grips on it. It's got nice grips. Uh, my brother doesn't really like how the handle is he, he doesn't like it he thinks it's uncomfortable but to me i got bigger hands than him and so to me it's fine um and so it's a pretty nice rod it is a stout rod but you know it's a good rod right now i'm throwing uh i like i said i got it for my frog rod rod but right now i'd be throwing like swim baits so like uh that savage gear and the jackal ganterelle and i want to pick up some more swim baits so this is going to be kind of more my swim bait rod and uh and also like my flipping rod so this goes to a half ounce to two ounces so two ounces you can flip with that <clears throat> and i throw big you know bigger heavier swim baits like this as a three and a half ounce swim bait which yeah is over the limit but it works and so uh so i'll be throwing stuff like that and maybe punching if i ever really i haven't really been punching because around here there's not really you know any mats to punch but if I ever, you know, come across a situation where I might punch, this is the rod I will use. Right now it's just got a cheaper Shakespeare agility reel on it. Um, with 30 pound braid. If I ever use it for punching, of course, I go up to like 65. But right now it's just throwing a swim baits and this 30 pound works good. Um, I've also got a 50 pound monofilament leader. Uh, just to absorb some of that shock so I don't throw off those swim baits um, with that straight braid. And, uh... So that's kind of what I'm working with for my swim baits and like heavy techniques, like really heavy techniques. Then uh, my next rod, so this rod is uh, a Dobbins Fury 735C, so it's 7 foot 3, a 5 power rod. So those rods are both 7 foot 3 and the Monkers was an extra heavy and this is a mag heavy. So really they should be, you know, that should like kind of be the same. But this Dobbins is a little bit, it's got a little bit of softer tip. So I like it a little bit better for throwing frogs because I can walk frogs, you know. And I, if I can work the frogs a little bit easier with this rod. Still got plenty of backbone. But I can work this, I can work the frogs a little bit better on it. 
And so that's why I'm kind of using this for my, more of my frogs. It's got a 50 pound braid on it right now. All right, for the reel on here, it's a uh, Abu Garcia Pro Max 3. And it's, a, it's okay reel, it gets the job done. Um, of course, you know, it's not as good as those Corrado's, um, but it's okay, it's a little cheaper reel. This was like, I think 80 bucks maybe, versus that, you know, the Corrado, which is obviously like 150 bucks. So, you know, it works for the price um, it works pretty good, so uh, you know this. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but it's it works. It's a good reel, and it's got a decent drag. It's got like 15 pounds of drag, so it's got the drag to fish frogs, you know, and have to crank them out of heavy cover. But this rod is basically uh, this setup, basically for my uh, frog fishing, hollow bodies and soft bodies like horny toads, um, as well as if I need to do some heavier like jig fishing or uh, some like lily pad fishing. This is kind of like my lily pad rod um, because like my main lakes, my main, the main lake I fish around here, uh, their vegetation is lily pads. And so, um, and you guys probably have seen that in my videos. So this rod is kind of like my lily pad rod. It fishes really well around the pads. So, uh, you know, if I need to throw like a bigger, like a pitching, you know, I need to pitch something in the lily pads. Um, it works fine for that too. And then my uh, last rod, but not my least rod at the moment right now, is the Dobbins Fury 704C. And I just got this rod um, a couple days ago, like a week ago. Not a couple days ago, so yeah. Like a week ago I got this rod. And I uh, haven't got to fish with it yet. Um... I want to say because of the weather, but actually, if you can see through my blinds a little bit, there's some sunshine through. Actually, today is pretty nice. But um, my whole family is kind of going through sickness. You know, when you got four siblings and one person gets sick, you know, you kind of all get sick. So we're kind of all going through a little bit of a sickness right now, so I can't really get out and go fishing. But uh, hopefully soon I will be able to. And so this is the Dobbins Fury 704C. Uh, I did the video the other day when I brought it home from the store, and uh, but if you haven't seen that, um, you don't really need to now because I'm showing you, but uh, it's a 7 foot 4 power rod, so unlike that last one was a 5 power rod at 7 foot 3, so you're dropping down 3 inches in length and in 1 power, and this is a good rod for Texas rigs, jigs, Carolina rigs, spinner baits, and horny toads is what it's rated for. And, uh, you could probably fish, for me anyway, I'd, I could fish all those baits on there. Probably won't fish, um, horny toads on it, just because I have fluorocarbon on here. But, you know, if it came down to it, I could probably fish it, you know. Um, but this is a really nice rod so far. Um, it's, like, basically what it says on there is what I'm going to use it for, except for probably, like I said, not horny toads, that's more of my frog rod. But, uh, like jigs, Texas rigs. I'll be throwing on here uh, spinner baits and chatter baits, um, and I may even experiment. Right now, I don't really have a cranking rod, and so I may be experimenting with this and see throw some square bills and some lipless baits just to see, because the action on here is, um, I mean it's not like a crankbait rod, but it's like super moderate, but it is a little bit more, you know, moderate rod than some of the other rods I have. Like those two are really, you know, stiff, heavy power rods. This is a little bit more moderate. And so I might be able to get away with it. Um, and if not, then probably by next year, I'll probably get myself um, my rod to throw crankbaits on. But um, hopefully this should work for now, at least until I can get a new rod. So I'll be fishing with different baits, experimenting. And uh, it's a really nice rod. Uh, I got, for the wheel, I got a Shimano Corrado. 200 I and uh, this is really nice reel 7 2 to 1 gear ratio and uh, 20 pound right now I got 20 pound four carbon on it and I actually have these little snap on here right now just because like I said I'm going to be experimenting different baits and so I can just switch out and try different crank baits and stuff and see how it works um, when you fish like jigs and like baits where you're going to need to you know you're going to need to put the hammer on them. You don't want to have those swivels because they, or the snaps like this because they bend out. But, you know, when you have some drag, you know, 
when you're able to pull out drag, these snaps will do pretty good. This is a 30 pound, either 30 or 40 pound rated snap. So as long as I, you know, I crank bait and stuff, if I throw and I have drag, um, it should be okay. So um, that is my rod and reel arsenal for 2018 from Bass Fishing. If you guys want to see me do something else too, because I do fish, like I said, for salmon and steelhead and stuff. If you guys want to see me talk about some of those rods, uh, comment down below and I can do that. Another rod you see me fishing uh, when I do bass fishing videos is our crappie fish, crappie perch, and bluegill. And I use this, what I do is I use this little ultralight right here. It's an ugly stick. Um, it's like a little 4 foot 8 ultralight. Just got a little spinning reel with 6 pound test on it. And that's what I use for, uh, for like crappie and stuff. And I also use it for finesse fishing. But if I really want to finesse fish, and I hardly ever do this. I don't even think I've ever taken a video of me. But I would use a spinning rod. I got a couple of spinning rods up there. Uh, I could throw a reel on them. And uh, use them if I want to really finesse fish. But the only time that I really finesse fish like that is if, like, you know, it, there's, like, it, it calls for it. So, like, the winter time or, like, you know, if someone, like, calls me up and is, like, you know, hey, they're biting on drop shots or they're biting on, like, Ned rigs or something. Then maybe in that case, but most of the time I don't even bring those rods with me. Just because I can get the job done with these and I can throw Senkos and stuff. Especially on my new one I just got. It will work for Senkos. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not like too long and it wasn't boring for you guys. So uh, have a good day and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.